Okay. Like the call to order the select wastewater treatment plan committee meeting at 10 a.m. or sorry, 10 04 on February 12th, 2021. Uh, is there any light items? Hearing none. So approval of the agenda, approval of the agenda recommendation of the select wastewater treatment that committee meeting agenda for February 12th, 2021 be approved to circulate it. Approved. Uh, adoption of the minutes. Recommendation of the select <laughs> wastewater treatment plan committee meeting held on August 26th, 2020 be adopted to circulate. Approved. Who bid this wastewater treatment plan? Update. Joe. Yeah, the floor, sir. To the chair and the city wing team from down Bonte. And the beef update of where we are setting up the problem line, speaking to the new rapid point of our setting up. Our next is the chair. We're going to jump in around 10 15. Get us everything on the seat bands. Is that okay? Sure. Well, Joe, it's before Bartek comes on, and if we have a few minutes, could you please give us an update of this package of information? Always absolutely. Okay, so we this is going to be a stage time here. I it's only on me about the last. Lovely. No members of the public can even watch the public. Yeah, okay, so we were setting up just now with the wastewater treatment plant budget. <clears throat> the work that we've done to date, the screening room, the lagoon clay, the filtration system, so the screening system, the injection of the polymers, all the other additional work and the aeration. The new lagoon stuff, cleaning out of the lagoons, discharging, getting all rid of all that stuff cleaned up. That has used up a large part of our budget for our wastewater treatment plant, which is fantastic because that was what it was designed to do. We're trying to get into our ministry of compliance, compliance rate rates, which is 30 31. Yep. So we call this 30 30. One, and that's talking about phosphorus levels, that's again kind of regulations. Our discharge is always going to run 1135 or not 1127, because of the discharge, 1135 liters per second. I have no cubic per day. Cubic per day, sorry. So, this is, this is basically what our parent says that we're allowed to do today. today. Okay. And it was always our objective to raise that. Yes. Well, yes, no, you're right. The, the idea is to have this increased or to be able to get our treatment levels to that. But the numbers that we're kind of holding us to this were always at around that bit. These numbers will stay the same because these are compliance regulated numbers that talk about the concentration levels. This level down here is talking about the physical flow levels that we discharge back to the sir. So, this is the number here that we're trying to change. Realistically, if we could get that number up to, we were hoping to get that number up to roughly 14, 1500, but the last thing that we had in the meeting 
We want to size what we're doing just now, which is quite ambitious, to 2000. That's going to give us capacity. Now, when we say capacity, we're not talking about the physical, the amount of water and cup capacity. What we're discussing is the capacity to treat and discharge. So, so the second point, yes, yeah, so that's talking about how we deal with that at home in product. The budget remaining we have in the grant just now, after we've done everything, where we are to date is 850,000. I believe that's roughly where we're sitting at. Excluding including the pennies and the pence, we can look at that. We're roughly 815 grand. That's how much we get left in our budget. Okay? Stand it. And the last week, <coughs> we always signed it off the Nightman team for the work that they've done in the last year. Haven't paid that bill or hadn't paid that bill up the last week because we went the whole year and we had a contract with them. We said to them, unless you guys step up to the plate, be with us on it, we're not going to be paying that. So up until last week, we hadn't paid a penny on it. I negotiated with Stanfeck. He said, if you pay that bill to us right now, Said, I'll, I'll give it to you, but I need to see something back to the distributors. Because I can't just see five grand worth of in-time work. There needs to be half of that back in kind. Engineer work, signed off, designs, drawings, for everything else we're going to work out. So they're meeting that, doing $4,000 back then, which is good. And it moves us down the process. Because up to this point, the design and the shop drawings and the tenders and everything else we've worked to at this point. We had a contract with them to spend that money. And I don't agree with everything that we've done, but we amicably resolved that. Otherwise, we sack them, we go to a lawyer, we end up never seeing that money again. Maybe that is a question. You're not talking about 99 k that's $99,000. $99,900. No, 93000 that, money, that money's already off. And it doesn't that's matter. Not, that's not an eight or fifty. Okay. So, thank you. Just, just so that we're going to clear. This thing cleans up the page for it. So Sandek are now $40,000 worth of work that we didn't have outstanding. So then we've got $40,000 worth, $40, worth, there's no more $40,000 worth, but $40,000 worth of money that they were out of working with us on. Engineer, drawing, any other professional services that up to $40,000 is now free. Our budget is 815 k to complete the last phase of what we need to do. So we've done the dredging, we've done everything else, we've done the aeration, we've done the lagoons, we've done all of that other work. So excuse me, so lagoon two is dredged clean? Yep. It's done. Done clean, two and three. Two and three. Dredged. It's, it's bagged it. Not right. moved away, but it's been back or waiting for them to drain and dry. Yeah. And then once it's drained and dry, we can put that money over the hot right. right. And so could I just ask what was the cost to do those two of them? 180. 180. Wow. What did we get initially for a price that we would do one was the right. green one was two something? Yeah, but it was thirty thousand was <laughs> per day. Yeah. Was that yeah. Yeah. that was per day? Yeah. They went through a bunch of bags. So so basically, our original budget of, of whatever we had to pay for the food were like eight times that. So the original one, when we got the original point to do these two lagoons, <laughs> we were quite happy with it because it got and grand one. So now we've got all three of the lagoons are clear, yeah. completely drained and dried. Now that does give us physical capacity as well for treatment, which is fantastic. It's about a meter and a half of sludge in some places in these lagoons. So the physical ability to treat that and be it is actually quite good as well. So now we do have more physical capacity. Aeration's in place. The goons have all been tightened up, all cleaned up. Bags are all there, ready to go. The last part to this is the tender that was out three weeks ago, or maybe, maybe longer than that, which is the one that's in front of just now. Now, they arrived in yesterday, so we haven't reviewed it. But that's why we wanted to do this today, to bring you all up to speed exactly where that right now. There's so, a budget. I know. So um, three and a half years ago we started this process. The idea was to clean it up, get it functional, 
put some automation in place, put the filter in, do what we needed at the back end to get our number up uh, about the 135 cubic meters yeah. say, and to uh, have a system that, that we weren't uh, hand measured and figured out how to put well, to be Calago to put into the phosphorus and all that yeah. stuff. So when we're finished with that 850, we will have all that in place. That correct. Everything should be up and operational as we are what you're discussing. Plus the screening room to prevent that blend out in the future. Right. right. But if we get our screening room fixed. Like for the probably way the truck is still more working on just yeah. our tech. We've asked because what was starting to happen was rather than them spending the time on this tertiary filter, they were starting to come back and look at they were starting to come back and look at this truck waste stuff. We've said to them, we have a solution right now for our truck waste. We can put it in here, we can put it forward and treat it. Stop wasting time and money on it and concentrate on our discharge levels. Yeah. Because I'm putting a real rush in whatever our tech. <laughs> Was on you, you'll hear me. But I want to concentrate all of this money and all of the efforts right now because they can do studies and ideas and design and concepts and screw that money up real quick for me. I'm not interested in that. I want this money spent on this. As a, the, 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 the truck waste issue was their original design. It yeah, was their it yeah. should be their problem and should cost us nothing for them to recalculate. Completely so. It, it will be their problem at the end. We just we stop them and said stop looking at the headworks, fix the numbers so we can increase the capacity. Yeah. So that's where they're because it's such a I mean as a component of the whole waste water treatment plant, but it's such a small component of the waste water treatment plant right now. It affects trends, it affects a couple of other people. But if we can manage that right now without spending any money right at this precise moment in time, concentrate our efforts to get this done, we're dealing with the largest parcel portion of everything else we need to do it. It's not taken off for a play for more now. We yeah. will address that. So it has been addressed so that there, there's a letter there because usually what happens is we we run out of that one year time frame. And yep. then it's then it's then the air pounds are existing. So they they would put on notice that this thing is still needs to be it doesn't work. It doesn't because function. they've acknowledged the fact that it doesn't function. Okay. Jim can't have a problem with this today, but yeah, so we can talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. And that's when we should start realistically looking at what else we're doing. Now, to this, the three tenders that we bought back in, we went out to direct uh, sourcing. We went for Viola, we went for a uh, Nexum, mm -hmm. and we went for a company uh, that was suggested is called uh, Aqua Weeks. The three places, I'm not going to say they're close. I will say that this is from a preliminary look at it. <laughs> these, these are very public information. This is just for the physical tertiary filter unit itself. I have them through, we have them through the details of it yet, so I don't know how comparable these are. So if I went to hey, my wheel, I went to Viola, I went to Aqua. First one is. <clears throat> These are the three places that we bought in, which are not just our tenders. So 154, 189, 292. Yes. That's not close. They're not close. <laughs> the first two are close. The second two are 100. <laughs> but I don't know how compatible they are just now because we haven't the chance to review them. So the last one is 292. Uh, that one is at Home Wheels. Come in the week. The time of our water. Waste and water tech. Waste and water tech. So, so is that the Aqua Road? That's the Aqua Road. <laughs> the Aqua Road one is 292. Viola is 189. And the quick fit, which is Nexum, should say Nexum, is 154. Now, here's the thing. We need to review these, and we're going to get Bartek on the board. He won't have a chance to review these either. I know he won't, he's only came in yesterday. So the price is 154, 189, 292. Well, out of that, then just a quick question before. Let's just say you go with 200 now, that's still 615. Now. Sure. Where's, where's the 615 allocated to? Or is that just so that's just equipment. You don't know. Yeah, that's just equipment. So there's no installation, no, no 
little piping. They're all a lot of stuff. We'll have to dig in and make sure that that's one of Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that was just purely at this point in time. Once we just kind of figured out, how much the equipment was going to cost us. So we haven't looked through the detail to know is it are they including a chamber? Are they not yeah. a chamber? Are they including automation? Are they including a uh, scatter systems? What are they including? So we now need to deep dive that and go through it and review it. The reason I wanted this meeting today, hey Bartek. The reason I wanted to do this today was to bring us up to here's our budget. Here's what we've done. Here's a resolution we stand for. Here's a resolution. Hey, Bartek, can you hear me? Just a second. Can we go over to the panelists? Can we go over to the panelists? Hey, Bartek. You don't mean it, buddy. Still on here. Okay. So I'll, just, I want to point, Joe, that these uh, proposals, I don't think in their entirety, can be, uh, if we should release them to the public because it would be proprietary to stop the proposals, just the numbers that we typically release. Yeah. So we need to look at the details of them. So right now, we don't know how we put together to make those normal. What the details are, how much we're doing, how much we're not doing, we might not be valid as part of us at all. But even if we look at what we're sitting on this we are not planning our budget for this part of the project, for the finalized part of this project. The thing is, that that magic number of 2000, get that level up. That's what we have left right now. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a touchy top on the next project. Where it's just not talked about the back of the boss is crystal good. How you can potentially play it into our credit room as well. And that's what this is going to be there to do. Now we know that we're at a very high end win, $300,000. Let's put that number out there just now, roughly for that filter system. So if we get 800 grand, that means we'll be approximately $500,000. And we're going to the high end of this just now. We have the really high end of this just now. We have five hundred thousand dollars to install it. We need to look at the performance guarantees very carefully <coughs> because our company is going to dive into this and look at what type of performance guarantee we can have with this. If we get a performance guarantee with this from Stanley and that company, that gets us a lot more comfortable with it. They don't imagine that they're going to have to do. One of the companies talk is about putting in a station next to the here. I don't think we're going to be doing that for now here, but that's why we want performance review at this point. Say about performance guarantee. So, in 15, 500 grand left, plus we'll put 40,000 dollars worth of end time work for stand tech for engineering design, any other additional work that we need to look at just now. So, that figure there is what we're kind of working with by the time we're there, all budget money, and it's already attributed to the guys. Is the VAP all paid for? I think it is. A lead map from the second video for it was $30,000. That's another part of the bed. There should be a baffle added in here. I think it's CFT. Next few weeks, they're going to install a baffle to direct the water into the bubbles. Yeah. Instead of just keep adding more air, we'll, we'll kind of streamline it. And that's the only the BOT. We're really just dealing with how the how it flows through that gap. They never got the answer back to that level. Two gaps. 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 There's a baffle to go in the living one, it's a good point, but I believe that we can use the land yeah, that's money. Then we have, we brought our budget right up to date as early as well, this morning. I got an updated budget with it. <laughs> can I ask a question? So, uh, I know that the OLA actually they supply and install. Uh, what about these other companies? Do they supply and install? Have to dig in, I don't know. I okay, not this yet. The only reason I suggest that is, is because if you buy from somebody and they supply it and they install it, because I just skimmed back on the back end of this stuff, it says that you know, if, if, if they are responsible, if you don't do these tests, if you don't know, the six things you don't do, you're responsible for. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know they installed it because when we, when we were 
originally thought the deal was a long time ago. They do supply. They, they have designed and supplied and installed the whole system. That'd be my first choice. And you, you basically then don't have any obligation if it doesn't work its own. Right. Yeah. And, and it's their equipment, right? So uh, that's what I would be curious about. Is, is, is the other two companies. I, I think that's the only supply. So much. if the all the supplies that it installs, then then they would actually be the one telling you what you got to do for your infrastructure or stand that money off the all as much. And if that's the case, then that's stand. Morning, Bartek. Morning, everyone. It, it would be it would be fantastic if I thought that an Exxon or a, a Van Vilt, the other gentleman who looks at these options, it would be fantastic if I thought for one second that that company would take charge of that whole thing and work with us and our civil work. So we're now going to be looking at Bartek got these, you got these yesterday, I believe, Bartek, I'm right? So I have a hard time hearing you guys. You got the quote yesterday? You got the three candles in yesterday, Mark Tank? Yes, I did. I I've just very briefly looked at them. I'll be working on them on this weekend. But um, yeah, it seems that we got three tenders back, right? Yep. So I'm just bringing uh, the committee up to date where we're currently sitting at. We have our budget aligned. We dealt with our outstanding invoices. A stand taker happened to give us forty thousand dollars in kind work towards what we're working on. Whether we decide to work with that on the truckways or whether we decide to work with that and a uh, design and concept and engineering on the sewer, we, we can discuss that as we move down the line. We've got three tenders out, we've got three designs. We can now review these designs. We can contract with own civil companies as well, because I would like to still get quotes from our civil companies on insta an installation. So we have a number of companies that we've worked with in the last five years that I feel very comfortable working with. Leave the team feel very comfortable working with Bounce, General Assembly, any of these other guys that have done fantastic work for us in the past. We might be able to look at a, a, a say for example, we go with Next, or we go with any of these three companies. I'm still going to see their installation charges, and they might say, well, it's going to be two hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars for this day. Well, if we've got the opportunity to save ten percent of that through us contracting it out just directly to Bounce or General Assembly or anyone else that handles the job, then we would do that and try to save them as well. So we'll look at what that balance is up with. We're hoping that that's going to work out well for us. But I really wanted to bring this back to the committee so that you as a committee feel comfortable. Okay. Here's where we are. We're bringing it up. The idea of the installation is that in fact, and have it installed by June and operating the system. So this, you can see where the timelines are time on this. So the next report we're going to bring back to council. Let's bring this report back to council. We'll have Bartek have a look at this. Bartek will have to analyze exactly what the project looks like, pros and cons with it, what warranty and guarantees we'll get with it. What level of civil work that we'll have to do with it, we'll pass it out. We'll have a good comparison. Tenders are there, so it's just a case of making the, making the recommendation now, getting it moving ahead, and making this happen for the last part of it. So, uh, we do not necessarily uh, have to accept the lowest step. No, no, we need to, we really need to analyze what these are because right now we're looking at the spread in there. There's $130,000 of a spend, just over $130,000. That's nearly double the price of the first price. There's something in there that's not captured, or there's something in there that's been included that we need to, and this is where we are just now that I love. Once we look at it, we'll need to give all the companies the opportunity. As a tender, we need to say to them, well, look, next thing we've included installation, or next thing we've included pipe, next thing we've included that. So you guys give us your price back. We make it all equitable so that we know what we're balancing out, yeah. and then we can get the best price. The advantage for me is, uh, or the, the positive thing for me is, although we're looking at tertiary filters, they're quite different from tertiary filters. Mm -hmm. The three tertiary filters are completely different tertiary filters. They're not just the same. Some of them are in, some of them are out, some of them are fabric, some of them have got cleaning on them, some of them have got sludge, and some of them haven't. I've looked at that just quickly just now, so the advantage is, 
we can really decide what we think as an asset management thing, or an asset management component to this, what's going to stand the test of time. So we don't need to go with the most, we need to go with what we think is going to serve or is the best. The one that's going to provide is the best warranty and guarantee with us. So we can forward. We're thinking about this one. I think, it. I think we've got five or six components on our scoring matrix. We've listed like five or six things that we're going to we're going to okay. Will we uh will this meeting be reconvened to find out what the result is? Absolutely. So what what we're intended to do just now was get Bartek in, hi Bartek, bring the committee up to speed. Because now the budget is closed as of tomorrow, but as of today. The 2020 budget is gone. We're moving into the 2021 budget. All of the previous invoices from last year's have to be in. I've done and right. So okay, let's done all that. Yeah. We know exactly where we are with the budget. We know exactly that there are three tenders that are now submitted. They're locked in place. They have a 30 day guarantee on the pricing on them. We can analyze that. We can look at what we're going to do. And then we can move forward and use up this initial budget. And that's the critical part that I want to move forward with. So the next stage will be with that with this. Our is going to be very busy. We're going to be very busy. We're going to be going through this budget and looking at what these components do. Making a recommendation, bringing a recommendation back to the committee before we make the recommendation back to the council. So you'll have another opportunity when I bring this back to this committee, hopefully in the next week or two weeks, to bring it back to the committee and say, here's what we found out. The first one, unfortunately, doesn't do it. It's a carpet filter, it doesn't work. The second one, stainless steel, really good value. The installation charges and costs should be between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. There's what we're going to get them installed for. Here's what the schedule looks like. Here's the works guarantee. That's what I'm going to last part of this installation for the piece. Okay. That's what we're going to get to the for the next for the next part of it. And this is what we'll be working on behind the scenes. And then that's where the agreement is meant to stand. Well, that, uh, to me it sounds great. Like uh, this is this has been three years. Yep. I, I guess the bottom line of it is, is will the uh, the odor go away? That, you know, the musty odor. I've been over there when it seems you know that it's working well and it's not being overburdened. Yeah, uh, the odor is just a musty odor. But I've also been there when it felt like 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 a uh, like a sermon. Yeah. So that was the, always the objective of this was to remove as much of that odor. Absolutely. So, yeah, there is a large component in the grant application that speaks specifically to odors. And I would love to say, yes, we're going to deal with odor control as, as part of this. But our main primary here is to keep this in the budget and keep it under the 815 and not have me come back. Because Kelly's asking me just now for the five year capital, she's actually asking me just now for the 10 year capital plan for sewer. And right now, I've said there, this money is to deal with this. I'm not expecting to have to do other than additional works in and around the sewer works at this point in time. Because otherwise, Kelly needs to put money in the sewer reserves for us right now for the next five years. If we can keep the money to where we are right now, I'm very impressed with some of these numbers. I'm sure Bartek, and, and I'm, I'm, we haven't spoken yet, Bartek, but I'm assuming Bartek, looking at these three numbers, they fill, your, they fill you with confidence. They're good numbers. Yeah, yeah I, I have problems hearing you. Uh, it's just uh, very faint. But um, as far as tender evaluation, I'm not sure if that's what we're talking about. Um, we have a set of criteria. I'm going to be reviewing it probably starting tomorrow. Probably by mid next week or so, I'll, I'll send my review notes to you and we'll have like a group uh, discussion here because you obviously have to understand the the tenders and what is evaluated and how it compares against you know all this all these proposals and then it's a pretty straightforward process that we've um, set for us um, as we select the product it's going to go uh, and it's going to be purchased by uh the municipality static is going to immediately move into a detailed design we need a concrete structure to house this filter we need some civil works obviously to connect uh, the filter and to create some bypass around it as well it's going to be installed just downstream from the control weir 
between the phosphorus lagoon and uh, the dispersion fields. And then um, the last thing is obviously we need electrical and instrumentation. Uh, this whole design process is going to take four to six weeks, depending how quickly we can iron out the, all the details. In the meantime, we want to have a contractor or two already interested in installation because as soon as we're done with the design, we want to send it to a preferred contractor and give them notice that, you know, this amount of work is coming. This is what's going to entail. Are you interested or not? If they're interested, we're going to send them the detailed design for pricing. If the prices come in, we'll review them. And if the contractor is obviously qualified and is ready to pull it off, uh, then it's it's going to move into installation contract. While the tertiary filter is being fabricated and shipped to site, probably around early June. So that's our schedule. It's aggressive, but we've talked about it, and um, you know we can we can probably pull it off uh, if we if we. Um, if we do it this way and anything you know more elaborate as an open tender for contractors things like that it's just going to uh take time thanks Bartek. thank you so brains is up to speed of yeah. where we are installation date should be set around june time the review for this is now to be completed within the next week 10 days We'll look at this, we'll analyze what we're doing for the performance guarantees and warranties. We will now take this and we, looking at this realistically, I think we'll probably do a, a couple of direct conversations with some contractors. I think that's an easier and quicker way of doing it. Put this out for the tender. Uh, an immediate tender, I don't think it's completely necessary, but we have the confidence in the contractors that we've been working with previously to have this installed. That's, that's our that's an update to the committee at this point. I wanted to bring you an update now before we're done the review, because these tenders come in yesterday. We can straight into the review process. Once they're reviewed, we'll read it back, more than happy to discuss this with the committee again. Then we'll bring the recommendations back. So, so our schedule, Jeff, um, the intention is to bring this to the council on the 24th for a recommendation to award. Or that's that well, we have a pretty tight meeting. timeline, and that's part of that schedule. So, ahead. when do we have to have our next meeting? That Tuesday, <laughs> we, we may be reviewing this over the weekend, be less than we that again. We, you want me to review it over the weekend? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want you to charge me to review it over the weekend. You just said you were, you said to me you were starting on it yesterday. I'm going to, you said to me you were starting on it tomorrow. So I'm just using your words, Bartek. Not heard that too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Got double look at half time. Okay. And it's cutting out. It's cutting out a little bit. Um. Yeah. So so the next uh, meeting should be the twenty third. But we should be bringing it back to this group before we take it to camp. So yeah. So we we'll didn't want to bring it to the council on the twenty fourth. That our next meeting should be scheduled for the 23rd. Okay, I'm yeah. happy with that. Or if you so desire, before the council meeting on the 24th. If that's okay with the committee, then I'm, I'm fine with that, I guess. It, it, it's easier to do that than, than split up another day someplace. So we you, gotta, you still need to have the report in on the Thursday Friday anyway. So uh, we'll, we'll send that more for you to see before it, but we can have a committee meeting before that. Right? So we reviewed before the 23rd. On the 24th, because we'll need to have a report done in drafting and then submit it back into council for getting any bit to add to the agenda. So we'll still need to have it done by Thursday Friday in the next week. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I will leave it up to staff to uh, set an appointment date for <coughs> Okay. Thank you. We'll do that. We're flexible. We're flexible. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Any other comments? No. no. All right, hearing nothing. But, uh, thank you, Bartek, for your attendance. Uh, happy review time on the weekend. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Good. Well, okay. Uh,
I would like to uh, adjourn the Select Wastewater Committee meeting at 10.38. Thank you. Approved. Thanks. <laughs> and, uh,